loves. So welcome back to Them Girls Cafe and today we're going to be making one of my favorite childhood desserts. And the only place I could ever get this was at school in the cafeteria. I know y'all like at school in the cafeteria? Yes honey. So you guys are going to love this video. I know y'all going to love this recipe. It's called the Chocolate Texas Sheet Cake honey. It's that chocolate cake that they put in a little sheet pan and they take a little chocolate glaze icing and pour it on there and it be so good, honey. It is delicious. So, the other day I was sitting back and I was like, I'm going to do, you know, the chocolate brownie recipe. And then I thought about it. That cake came across my mind. And I just went back and started reminiscing, y'all. <laughs> so, what really made me think about this cake, well, what... Every good thing that has ever happened to me in my life I associate with food, whether that be people or situations. So when I was thinking about this cake, I got to thinking about this older lady who worked in our cafeteria. Everybody know you got that sweet little old lady who worked in the cafeteria. She, everybody, grandma, everybody loved her. Well, in my school, we had this older lady called Mrs. Wells. She was really sweet. She always gave me a big chunk of cake. And she was just really nice and kind. She had the most sweet, loving, round face. And um, her one of her grandchildren was in my class. But this lady just, when I would be sad or feeling down, she would talk to me, give me a hug, a little kiss on the forehead, tell me everything was going to be okay, baby. And she just really made me feel important. sugar, some flour, some cocoa, some salt, and some baking soda. Not baking powder, but baking soda. So, we're going to go ahead and get everything set up so we can go through the first part of this video. And we're going to get our life here in the kitchen, y'all. Okay, then we're going to have cafe. I'll see y'all later. Alright, love. So, the first thing we're going to start off by doing is first, we're going to take all of our dry ingredients. And this time, the sugar is considered a, a dry ingredient. Usually the sugar and the eggs and the butter go in first, but in this recipe you're going to add your sugar, your flour, your baking pot, uh, baking soda, <laughs> not baking powder, baking soda, and your salt. And then you're just going to take a nice fork and give it a whisk, honey. And then we're going to set this to the side all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get ready for this sauce part honey and what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift this camera up a little bit more so you guys can see what's going on with this pan honey so what you want to do is you want to take your water you don't boil your water first i'm sorry y'all you want to take your water pour it into the pot and you're going to need a cup of water Ooh, that's hot. your butter So while this is coming up to a boil, I'm going to finish getting this, you know, all boiled up, set up to mix up the eggs and, you know, the, um, the milk and the vanilla. So, yes, honey, our oven is already set at 375. It's already preheated. This video, go, this video is going to go really, really, really quick. So I'm just going to turn this on medium and let it, you know, go until it starts to boil, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you guys back here in a second. Burn. Well, don't burn. But you know. All right, love. So we're back. We're going to go ahead and get the wet mix together. So what you want to do is you want to take your eggs and you want to beat them up really, really well. And 
And then you want to add that into your milk. All right. I'm gonna scrape this bowl down, you know, just you know, just a little bit to get all the extra eggs out of there. You know, we ain't trying to waste not, waste not, want not, honey. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our vanilla and just mix that all together. Now we don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that back there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my cake flour back over. And this is getting ready to boil in a few minutes. So as soon as this right here, chocolate mixture, you know, I'm going to bring it back so you guys can see it in the camera. So as soon as it starts to boil a little bit more, we're going to take this, we're going to pour it in there, we're going to mix it up, and then we're going to add in the milk and everything. So I'll see y'all back in a second. Alright guys, so we are back and our chocolate sauce, you know, has finished boiling and everything. So we're going to go ahead and just pour it into that mix. Scrape down the pot. It's nice and hot. Oh yeah, that chocolate smells so good like that, yes. Get back there, hold on to my spoon. And we're just gonna start off on slow mixing it up because this is chocolate, honey. Y'all, we ain't mixing nothing up because it ain't even plugged. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh no, not another one. gentlemen went out and found me a quick mixer that I can use a hand mixer I can use until we can find one that I like or that he deems worthy of grace in my kitchen because you know that's how we roll you know my um I can say one thing about my husband he never buys me anything that I want in my kitchen that is cheap y'all <laughs> Or that's not going to hold up. Anything that I want for the kitchen, he pretty much is, he always looks to find it for the best price. Because he knows that everything in my kitchen gets used to the full extent. He does you know, nothing in my kitchen goes to waste. If I'm buying it, I'm using it, honey. <laughs> so that is one thing that I really appreciate about him. Wilton's 
15 by 10. And this is the perfect size pan for the Texas sheet cake. So this is what you'll need, honey. And this is a little thicker than a regular cookie, um, cookie sheet. And this is what you actually need for this cake. All right, put that out of the way, spread it out a little bit, make sure it's even. Oh, that smells so good. Y'all, that chocolate, but I mean, not that chocolate butter, but that chocolate and that butter being melted together, love, let me tell y'all. That just stole my life. That just my life. Um, woo, woo, woo. I'm sorry. I just be having a good time, honey. We ain't got time we're gonna be fair. You know, we have enough problems in the world that comes to bring you joy, happiness, love, and a little peace and some escape time, honey. So we're gonna just bounce it to make sure we don't get no air bubbles. If you guys are looking, sometimes you can see the air bubbles first when you put it up on the counter. And this is the way to make sure you know how when you cook a cake sometimes it has that little bubble in it and then it kind of like fluffs up. Looks all crazy. That's why you need to bounce your cakes on the, you know, the surface or something. And you can see all those air bubbles pop. Like, I just had a whole bunch of them. This cake, for some reason, it, um, it gets a lot of air bubbles. So that's why I had to do this before I brought it to y'all. You know, to make sure that I got it all right. So just bounce it. And make sure you get as many air bubbles out of it as possible. And I think. We're good now. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. 375. All the, everything you need to know about this recipe will be linked down below in the description box. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff cleaned up. We're going to set up because we're going to make the glaze to go on top, honey. We're going to get our life. Now, if I'm looking off to the side, please forgive me. Y'all know my monitor is on the side. I'm still working on that. I'm trying to focus on the camera. So, don't chew my head off in the comments, y'all. I'm not perfect, okay? She's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right love so we back and we're about to go ahead and get started with the glaze because you want to put the glaze on the cake as soon as it come out of the oven honey all right you want to you know take it out of the pan and then put the you know y'all y'all get what i'm saying okay so look we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna pull this so y'all can see Lift this up a little bit, you know. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see what's going on. Can y'all see what's going on? I know I'm moving stuff around, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, we're going to drop this butter off of it. Good old pot. Honey. And we're going to drop that pile of sugar down up in there. That good old milk. That good old vanilla. Honey, that good chocolate cocoa. We're going to move these all out the way. No you know, distractions, honey. <laughs> Nobody's talking about, ooh, you so messy. You are a messy person. You know, people watch my old videos, y'all. <laughs> and they don't understand that, like, the, the workspace that I had was so small. I had to make it work, honey. But nasty is something I ain't never been. But, um, yeah, people are so rude, like. But that's okay, because y'all show me plenty of love. You know what they said, you ain't got no headaches, you ain't popping. And honey, let me tell you, we've been popping over here, okay? We've been popping like popcorn over here, so I don't know about them, honey. They need to get their lives. But yeah, I'm just really enjoying the process of YouTube. The channel has been growing. I think we're almost at, we almost at 2,500, y'all. So y'all realize in like two weeks we've gained almost 500 new subbies on the channel. And I'm so happy. Y'all don't know how happy I am. And we've been hitting the 10% mark on the videos. So let me talk to y'all a little bit about the 10% mark. And I'm going to talk to y'all about things that go on in YouTube that a lot of YouTubers don't like to talk about. And why, I don't know what's, why it's such a big secret. Because if you get on the internet and do some research, you can find out. So, for YouTube to consider a video to be successful, they like it to hit a, a certain mark by a certain time. And the mark they want you to hit is 10% on a video. I think we're within the first 24 or 48 hours. 
if you hit your 10%, that's being a successful video. And here lately, we've been hitting 15% on the videos in the first 24 hours. And that is really good. YouTube is really loving that because all my stuff is in the green, honey. <laughs> Except them coins. <laughs> but um, everything's in the green when you look at the analytics of the channel. And I'll go through and explain that as time goes on because that's one of the keys to doing YouTube. You need to pay, you need to know how YouTube works, your chart. It's a lot of chart, it's a lot of graph, honey. And I finally broke the code, honey. <laughs> but um, it just takes a lot of time. So you really have to pay attention to what is going on. And you guys have really been blessing me with the views, the love, the support, y'all know. I've been traveling back and forth to Mobile. I was actually supposed to go home today, but I wasn't able to, so I'm going in the morning. Y'all see the kids on Saturday, because we're going to go live on Saturday. I mean, tomorrow to Friday and Saturday, we're going to go live a little bit. Hopefully, if we don't go live Saturday, I know we're going live tomorrow. Because me and Cameron and Chloe going to hang out. I'm going to let my sister out of mind jail and let her go enjoy herself for the day, for the evening. Um, but yeah, it's just been a blessing. Like, I've enjoyed y'all. Y'all don't know how much I've enjoyed y'all. And just having somebody to talk to. Like, I I feel like I'll be talking to my friends. I feel like some of y'all, like, are like people I can talk to every day. Oops, case done. y'all the clock's still rolling okay so it takes anywhere let that cool for a minute that needs to cool for a minute all right i'm sorry rudeness so what you need to do is you need to get the cake out you need to let it cool for about two minutes and then you want to take it out of the pan while it's still hot and then you need to pour this glaze on there. Now this glaze, rudeness. Y'all, I'm sorry for the rudeness of the oven. But I'm trying to roll straight through with this video. So, I'm going to uh, finish stirring this up. I'm going to flip the cake out of the pan. And then we're going to go ahead and pop this glaze on here. So y'all give me a minute and I'm going to get everything set up. And we're going to be right back. Alright y'all, so... We are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring the chocolates on the cake and just let it run. This is your friend. And you want to cover the whole entire cake, baby. Long some chocolate somewhere, honey. I be careful when I walk on that side, honey. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna take some of that chocolate down there and rub it on the edges, honey. Mmm, mmm. That is. Let me lift this up a little bit and get some more of that chocolate and just hit these little spots that don't want to act right. Mmm, that's so delicious. Sorry, y'all, but I had to get that little taste. All right. So while it's still hot, you want to go ahead and sprinkle your walnuts on there, honey. You can do this with pecans, um, walnuts. If you don't eat nuts and you have a food allergy to them, then you can um, you know, 
not put the um, walnuts or pecans on there. That's if you have a food allergy. Uh, or if you know somebody who have some, you know, that's what it is, honey. Ooh, ooh. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Texas chocolate sheet cake from back in the day, honey. And this is what it looks like. It got a little side view. Da, da, da. I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> or on the price. It's right, honey. This cake is definitely right for that ass, okay? So, yeah. I'm going to um, let this cool down. Get a couple pictures of it once it cool down. And then we're going to come back and we're going to cut this lovely mother sucker. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy ourselves. Y'all, this just smells so good. It's so easy. It didn't take that much to make. You really... It's a really easy recipe and it's really kid friendly too. So, with that being said, I'm going to let this cool down. And then we're going to come back and we're going to slice this mug up. We're going to get some good thumbnails. And we're going to really enjoy this cake, honey. We're going to enjoy this. And I'm going to take my sister some. Y'all know. She ain't going to never let me enjoy nothing myself. But I'm going to take her and camera some. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. Y'all, this chocolate cake making me feel real sexy right now. You know, chocolates and aphrodisiac. Okay, let me quit playing. <laughs> no, I'm not. But yeah, seriously. <laughs> I get heavy as hell when I get chocolate, y'all. I love chocolate, honey. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. So, y'all, I really get the girls fixed right. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing this video, y'all. I took my thumbnail, I got a couple pictures. This cake is sexy, honey. It's moist. It's got buttermilk, butter, and chocolate in it. Girl, don't let me stop you. And um, it's just really, really tasty. It is, honey. This is good. Mmm. 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 Mm. So... One more bite and then we gonna wrap this up. Mm. Slow rolling. Mm. Stroke it with the motion. Y'all don't know nothing about that. That's the blues. Young girl, leave me alone. Slow rolling. This cake got me slow rolling, honey. this video out there on Facebook live talking about them kite you know I got some people on Facebook was mad at me but that's okay but I really enjoyed doing this cake it took me to a sweet pot a sweet spot in my childhood um you know that really made me feel comfortable and loved and special that little old lady was very sweet to me and I will never ever ever forget her y'all so you know it's just some things in childhood that warm and touch your heart that you never forget and it teaches you how important it is to be kind to little kids like I, I think it's very important to always be as kind as gentle but stern and loving with little kids because it really does impact their day it impacts their day it impacts their life it impacts them as they get older as adults and this has been like almost I'll be 34. It's been almost 26, 27 years ago. And I still remember this lady now, y'all. If I walked up on her in a crowd, I could pick her out. But Mrs. Wells, Crichton Elementary Cafeteria Lady, thank you for your love and your hugs and your stirring talkings. But um, I just wanted to say 
I enjoyed doing this video. I love you guys. Remember to, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated. Give lots of love. Give lots of encouragement. Give kind words. And check on your people. Check on your people, especially your veterans. And um, any anybody else you know who's going through a hard time. Um, sometimes, you know, the year, beginning of the year is not always easy for people. Just like the holidays, check on your people. You know, it's February. It's coming up on Valentine's. If you ain't got no love, honey, love yourself. Buy yourself something. You and a friend get together and y'all buy each other some Valentine's gifts, honey. Because Bam ain't always had a Valentine's. But I always love myself and bought myself something for Valentine's. Because, honey, can't nobody love you like you and Jesus. <laughs> and I'm laughing, but I'm serious. Love yourself. And, and when you learn to truly love yourself, it won't matter what holiday or what time of the year it is, you'll be okay. With that being said, remember food is love. I love y'all. I'll see y'all back here on Sunday for Sunday dinner month, bang! Bing, bang, 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 bang. I'm going to take my cake. I'm going to take another slice in the minute, but I ain't going to get it on camera because I don't want y'all to see the fatness, but I got to go. She got to go. I'm